Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm here at Regal Gentleman Studios. Uh, my name is Richard Tucker, and today I'm looking after this gentleman, August. How's it going? You all right? Thank you. Yourself? Yeah, I'm all good, thank you, man. So, uh, what can I do for you today? Um, pretty much, I just wanted to have a like, faint, but I heard you're the best person in the game, so I just came to you. Ah, oh, man, the pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to look after you, man. What kind of fade are you thinking of or going for? Did you want like a like a proper skin fade all the way around, like a low mid skin fade, or are you looking for more of a taper kind of effect? A little bit of a taper kind yeah. of effect. Yeah. However, yeah. I want you to experiment with my hair, whatever you want to do. Yeah, nice. Like, I want something different. Yeah. Um, okay. I think with my hair, right? Mm -hmm. Just pushing back. Yeah. So anything that can make it, you know. From, from going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. appreciate it, but sure, man. that's it really, to be honest. Yeah, no problem. I, I find what's quite good, um, you know, with the headline, if it feels like it's receding a little bit, right. is as long as you do like a, a fade like in here, that always makes it feel a bit better. I always find when you've got a little bit sort of dark, like sort of comes down here, almost mm -hmm. kind of measures how, it gives you a measurement of how far it feels like it's going back. Do you know what I mean? Right. It kind of almost takes the the eye off that a little bit i think so um yeah we can do if you want to do something a bit different though instead of the taper taper we can we can do a skin fade all the way around mm -hmm. um maybe a little bit a little bit higher for you might be quite nice as well i'll drop it i like to drop them a little bit towards the back to complement the head shape um we'll take it down a notch as well um just cutting with the grain just smoothing some of those waves on top um and what i'll do it what i like to do with the hairline as well just remove a little bit of weight at the front so that can make it a little bit cleaner and it will stop it from like jumping up. Sometimes when you leave it too long at the front, the wave can kind of wave up. Now it's a bit shorter, it might sit a little bit lower for you. Right. So I can have a look at that for you. But yeah, if you want something different, obviously I, I can't exactly make your hair like really long or anything like that. But um, I can do I can do like a, a different fade for you really. And obviously it's your your first time with me today. So it will probably feel different anyway. Just like, you know, every barber approaches hair a little bit differently as well. Does that sound good to you on that? Is, is there anything ready else you want to add to? Ready to go? Ready to go? Yeah. All right, all right, man, let's, let's do this. So how are you feeling comfortable? I'm ready, I trust yeah. you. <laughs> Good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just basically create a bit of the canvas. So what I like to do is just like even everything out for you. So that way. When I do the fade, it's just kind of a little bit more effortless rather than fading up into too much weight. I think that's how I always sort of approach Afro hair, to be honest, just kind of get it like ready and prepped and then you can start fading. Cutting with the grain with wavy or curly hair just means you just get a little bit more control with the weight. And sometimes when you go against, you end up pushing the hair up, removing too much weight. So right now I'm just kind of like testing the waters and just seeing what his hair's doing, how short I'm gonna go on top.
I've noticed your hair is like, it's stronger and a little bit finer in some areas, isn't it? So what I'm gonna do obviously is work with that. So rather than the same length all over, I'll probably take it a little bit shorter in here. So that way it kind of, you know, supports the areas that are a little bit finer, uh, giving an illusion that it's all kind of like, this like same sort of length all over. Mm. I think it's just like, it's just age, isn't it? You know, when you get a bit older and you're like, oh, what's going on my hair? <laughs> and like, it's, it's so common, like it's more common than people realize. Like, and I think it's just, it's just one of those things. Like there's lots of stuff out there now, isn't there? Where you can help try to like promote it to stay. But I think it's just inevitable. It's just like when you get a bit older, mm. your hair changes a little bit. But luckily there's ways of like, like we're doing now, just to kind of make sure it still looks fresh at the end, you know? Right. It doesn't sort of feel unbalanced. This helps as well, like if you're cutting with the grain, you can kind of really look after like the weight in certain areas. to the top afterwards, give it another smooth over. Just gonna use like a, a firmer brush here because that really helps brushing the sides down when it's wavy. A soft brush doesn't really do much to, it gets rid of the hairs it's all right if it's a bit shorter, but you need a stronger brush just to kind of like stretch out, stretch out the hair a little bit. So yeah, again, we're just setting up the, the canvas here, as I like to call it. Right, so I'm just going to create my first line here. And because we're doing a high fade, we're going to use the sort of low recession point here, just as a bit of a guideline. But we'll just come up just around there for now, so I've got enough to create a bit of a transition for him.
Now I'm just softening the line basically, so when I go to fade, it just makes things a little bit easier than just going straight from a hard line. Slightly over exaggerated at the back, so I've got a little bit of room to work with if I want to change the shape later. And then just a little bit of refining underneath, if there's any areas there, just a quick refine, because we can go back to this. And as you can see, I'm basically removing the weight above and then just coming back again just to do some refining, which essentially is fading, isn't it? So. And then what we'll do, I'll come back to these areas here afterwards, but we're just going to sort out the weight here first.
So uh, yeah, basically what I'm doing is I'm just testing the waters. So I'm just seeing basically if this length is removing the length I want taken away. And if it's not, I just basically go shorter. Hence why I'm back and forth with the uh, attachment. So all this now is refining because like the fade's basically done really, you know what I mean? It's just because I can, I might as well just go over and just refine it a little bit more. And the best thing you can do is just make sure you get the right lighting so you can see all the dense areas and then match them up to the areas that are not so dense. And that's sometimes not to do with the way you cut hair, it's just the way the hair lays. I think that's what barbers get, like beginner barbers get frustrated with a lot of the time is they do a hair kind of like, why does it not look so flush? And now and again, you do get a client that has hair like that, but a lot of the time it's not like that. And that's why you've got to do your refining. So you finish your haircut and then have a look at the haircut afterwards and then go back in and, and refine the areas. So you're almost just matching up the thicker areas with the areas that are not so thick and then once that consistency looks a bit more even, um, well, once it's a bit more consistent, it will look even, I mean. I think this is the bit I love actually about barbering is the, is the refining. It's, it's just taking it a little bit further than, than possible. How's that looking so far for you there? Like for me? Is that looking all right? No, it's more than all right. Yeah? Ah, oh, sweet, man. I appreciate that. It's a nice little switch up, isn't it? So like the, the taper. And already, you see how this looks? Looks all right now, didn't it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? You just remove that bit more weight there. And, and obviously the weight that you have here, mm -hmm. it ends up sort of thickening the right areas and also just like making that look a bit nicer at the front for you. I think that's what it's about, man. All right, sweet. I will, I'll carry on smoothing over the top and then we'll do the shape up for you as well. Um, nice one. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. Uh, what does this do? The scissors, using the scissors on top of it. 
Um, it basically, you know, like you, I think you can't see from there, but we're up, up close. I can see all the little ends just sticking up. Yeah. So it's just making it even smoother. You can see a little bit there now. Yeah. All those, all those little hairs there. So I'm wearing a black t-shirt. Doesn't help. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just helps smooth it over, basically. Just means I've got a bit more control because I can do a little bit of freehand, but your hair's like really short. It's kind of pointless really doing freehand with clippers. Uh, you can do, but it is, it's almost like a bit risky, do you know what I mean? And I've already smoothed it over. So this is just going to finish it off. Just make it a little bit more smoother on top. And then for you, oh, once this is done, you can then just put some product in and just push it down or even natural, it looks quite nice already, doesn't it? So if you don't put anything in it. I think sometimes it just looks like I'm doing nothing, don't it? It's just like, what's he doing there? Is he just being, you know, a little bit extra? So what I'm going to get you to do is just sort of come a little bit closer onto the end of your chair. That's all right. So you're a little bit more just leaning forward, basically. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. There we go. Let's move down some of that weight again at the front. By removing a little bit of the weight through the front, it doesn't curl up as much. So when you do your, your edge up, you've got a little bit more control. Can see like you know the hair's dense in different areas as well so just being a little bit careful where I'm moving the weight we'll just start with that for now and then work with that it's not always about getting the line like really sharp in the beginning you can do that with the blade this is about obviously keeping his hairline in its natural position as much as possible as much as possible but you'll find obviously you know for instance you can see it's it's creeping up here, but in here it's a little bit more straighter. So you've got to now balance these off. Uh, these points here, the uh, high recession, low recession point can be angled like that. Whereas well, this one is, is a bit more like that. So you have to match these up as well to create like a, a straight line, uh, but you also want to stick to his natural one. So your best bet is start from the middle and then just work your way around with the natural hairline and then have a look in the mirror and then adjust it to, uh, you know, what, what looks right basically, rather than just trying to get it in straight away, do you know what I mean? my guideline so now I'm just sharpening it up a little bit evening it out as much as possible If anything, this is probably the most important bit of the trim. Like the fade's lovely, but the hairline, like the hairline's not right. It's, you know, it's a bit stressful, isn't it? When you catch yourself in the mirror and you're like, feel a bit wonky, do you know what I mean? So it's important that you take your time with it. So now I've done the guideline, you can see now I'm just working in where I need to, but not overdoing it. Just to get that a little bit crispy, you know, and some people might 
might not want it that sharp because they want to keep it, you know, where it is as much as possible. But actually, that looks really nice through here. Now let's just sharpen up this edge. And you see by removing the weight, how it's evened out density in the front and here as well. I think it's very important, this bit actually, especially removing weight from this corner because you can do, you can do your edging up, but then if that is too long, it will push up and then actually it's not sitting flat at all. So when he washes his hair, it's like, what the hell, what's happened here? So it's better to, uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Get it as natural as possible for them. So even when they wash their hair or style it, it's, um, Obviously they'll need to brush the hair down anyway, in general to keep the waves flat, but at least it's looking somewhat the same as it was when we left. Right, now I'm gonna use the mirror now to finish up before we do any blade work. Let's just have a look around here. So you see naturally, again, this one's Slightly here, so just got to bring this in here just to match them up. Just a little tad, but nothing crazy. Yeah, that makes such a difference. Just that little tap. So I hardly did anything there, just a little tap. Uh, the rest I'll probably do with the blade again, because again, if I keep trying to make it perfect now, it's just gonna, it's just gonna go back and we want to keep it as, as forward as much as possible as discussed um, and we'll check the angles here. So again, this one naturally goes through there like that. That's actually similar there. And one question, how does that look for you though? Does that feel about right? Yeah. Yeah. Does that feel balanced? Is it, can you see anything there that you feel like you want to adjust for you? Like you feel uh, like it's- I feel like it's um, naturally aligned. Yeah. So that's what was very important to me, not yeah. too sharp. Yeah. Yeah, sweet, perfect, no, that's it. That's the probably most important thing to do at the end, is just check with your client as well. So, you know, if you're unsure if it's, if it's in place, um, just ask your client, because he's got a pair of eyes as well, and he can be like, actually, it feels a little bit, you know, and then you will be like, actually, yeah, you're right. Do you know what I mean? I always work with my client. I feel like that makes a big difference. Have we got a rest back on there? How's that feel? Is that right? Comfortable, yeah. I like these chairs. It's nice. All right. So I tend to use just a bit of water here just to wet the area around here with the blade. So obviously, you know, you're not cutting the hair dry because it feels a bit uncomfortable, but you can use a uh, shave gel as well. I think where, I don't know, I guess I was doing this with water a long time. So I'm so used to it. So I think, I think it's, it's what you're comfortable with really. Like there never used to really be like shave gel when I, when I was doing this uh, back in the day. So uh, I do use shave gel now though on the beards. I find it's, it's quite decent for that, but the hairline, I'm so used to doing it this way. The main thing is as long as it's comfortable for your for your gent as well, do you know what I mean? Okay, my man, just uh, bring your head back forward there. There you go, yeah, it makes such a difference the blade, doesn't it? It just like makes it a bit more crispier. I'll just cover that light up there so we can see the balance. You can see the difference when you've got more light here, it makes it look higher, doesn't it? So I'll just block that out so you can see through there as well. Cool, and I'll just do a little one more round, just around the, uh, 
It's fade there for you. Is that feeling okay for you, mate? Yeah. Have a little look together as well. Just see how how that's looking for you. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I wanted to see. Yeah, nice yeah. one. Yeah, it looks decent, doesn't it, actually? Like, you can see how it's balanced out on top now. It looks look, like really even, uh, just by cutting with the grain as well and just dropping the fade a little bit for you, just around here as well, so it complements the head shape. Is that, has it been a while since you've had, like, this kind of fade then? Yeah. 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 You and normally I, go for tapers, don't you? I do. Yeah. You know, I can see, like, um, the wavy side of mine, like, the hairline, the sides. Yeah. I see the when you showed me. Yeah. Mirror. Yeah, yeah. Sound like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, nice one, man. Brilliant. I'll just put some product in there for you. I'll just give it another little brush through. But I think everyone reacts differently as well to products and, you know, how you look after your hair. So sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error. So this is like a bit of clay, basically, and it's it's quite nice this clay because it'll hydrate your hair a little bit so it'll stop it from frizzing out and you can see how it's a little bit smoother on top there as well and if you want to brush this through you can so you can really show off the waves in your hair if you use anything to compress your hair uh, that will also like promote like the wave as well just see if i'll brush that through a little bit yeah i think we've already brushed it it's actually quite nice Yeah, and you see now, they see how that's gone a bit smoother there. Yeah. Even though it's, it's fine anyway, like I say, you can get away with it being natural uh, as well, or you can, you can smooth it down like that as well. Sweet. Is that right for you, man? Perfect. I think I'm going to keep it like this. My yeah? Head, yeah, because yeah. it matches my head shape. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like the fact that we brought it up a little bit here for you as well. Makes this, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with the front whatsoever. I think it's just maybe... Maybe the shape you had before, maybe you just, you wasn't feeling it anymore. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes that happens though. I'm just gonna quickly check your neck for you and get those little hairs off. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate you coming through as well. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. No, no worries at all, man. Thank you, man.